I'm upgrading to the 4K version of this Cozilla 32 inch calendar plus two. I reviewed the 1080p version last year. So I already have this VESA mounting plate on the wall. It's gonna be a very easy dropping replacement. Only took two seconds. If you wanna learn more about the installation process, I would refer you to my video last year, link in the video description, as well as the link to this calendar. Mounting hardware supports 360 rotation, but because of the power supply, you only wanna do 90 degrees turn, but that should work for most people. But it's more than just a digital calendar. Before diving into details of its main feature, let me show you what else I can do with it. I connected an HDMI cable to its HDMI input. Then it can be used as an extended 4K monitor. I can actually get some work done here. If we put it on a battery powered stand, then it turns to a mobile TV where we can enjoy movies, and organize calendar and meal plans anywhere in the house. This stand is awesome. It allows for tilting and height adjustment. I even use it as a wireless 4K monitor paired with the MacBook back here just to show you. This is a real YouTube video window drag across different screens. They are paired together with a 4K HDMI transmitter. I may create a future video and talk about this in greater detail. So if you're new to my channel, like and subscribe for more content like this. The panel is 4K 60 Hertz. This is exactly what I'd expect. A big touchscreen digital calendar as well as a TV where all the family members can get together and watch Disney Plus, Apple TV, or Netflix movies. This is a beautiful IPS 4K panel. And it has a wide viewing angle. And most importantly, to get everybody on the same page looking at one single calendar and meal plans. So my kids won't keep asking me, what's for breakfast? What's for lunch? Yo, what's for dinner? You got snacks? Everybody <laughs> likes a very simple and user-friendly interface like this, but I really wanna point out this Cozilla OS is actually based on Android, which means we get all the benefits and flexibility of Android operating system, you can basically install anything you want, like the Netflix, Disney Plus already mentioned, and the Google Play Store is available. You can install TikTok to start scrolling in the vertical position. There's a Cozilla phone app we can use to keep track of things when on the go. But the first thing I would do here is to go to the calendar app, go to the settings. We can add family members and most importantly, it syncs with calendars from different services like Google Calendar. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna use my Google account. Should be pretty simple and straightforward. Connected successfully, then it will start syncing my calendar to import. It does automatic sync every 30 minutes. Now I can add a family member, for example, my son, Ryan. Member row, son, male. Now I'll pick a random avatar. It supports a maximum of eight people, so I added the rest of the family members here. Voice input can be used for creating calendar entries. If you see this star sign above hey, the plus, this is cozy. I'm your I think ChatGPT is behind me this. Like like we are flying to Las Vegas this December 31st. So create an entry for everybody. Here's a preview of your calendar. Yeah. 
fly to Las Vegas. 31st, looks good. That's for Evacuated everybody. Successfully. Just... Well, not only we have vacation here, it also says fly to Vegas. This is a familiar and typical calendar user interface. We got the day view, week view, and month view. Let's go ahead and create an activity entry for Ryan next Monday and see how it's synced across my devices on the phone and Google Calendar. The title I'm gonna put in, it supports voice input, let's try that. Bell test. Awesome. Done. Defaulted to this time and of course we come in here and do edit and change um, the settings just like you would do in Google Calendar. And uh, there's a reminder option as well. So you get email, and you know all sorts of um, features from Google Calendar. Then I also want to mention it is color coded, so the green is mapped to Ryan, yellow to Kate, and purple to Zoe. From here, we can see the calendars. I can add more of my calendars from Google service. And Ryan, if he, if he has a, his own Google account, he can add his calendars here. And so does Kate and Zoe when uh, they are, the kids are old enough to use the Google Calendar service. They can just import their calendar here so everybody knows uh, everybody's up to. We can see the event already got synced on my phone. And from here, I can do delete or edit just like I would on the calendar. Maybe I'll pick Zoe as well. So the activity will apply to both of them. Showed up for Zoe. It's pretty cool, right? In this case, under the day view, both Ryan and Zoe are sharing the same event. Go to the week view. Their avatar showed up here and it's color-coded, it's very easy to see and understand. On any screen, you can always swipe up to go back to the home page. And there are multiple workspaces you can fully customize. You can long press and hold to reposition it or add a new widget to the page. It's very uh, intuitive and highly customizable. You can resize it however you want. and add more frequently accessed apps here on the left side, like YouTube, Netflix, and Disney+. Plus. Now let's check out the meal plans. For lunch, I'm gonna add, um, yeah, this steak looks good, steak salad. Add to meal plan. That's lunch today, for today. For tomorrow, lunch, I'm gonna have maybe tuna, sounds great. You can uh, click to drill into the detailed nutrition facts, all these things. You can also bookmark this and search for more recipes. There are lots of choices. For this one, add to meal plan. Links to the uh, tutorials on YouTube. You can, holidays, you can just quickly or you're just go there. The <laughs> this is pretty cool. The same change is also reflected on my Cozilla app. I just went ahead and added a bunch of delicious meals to our today's meal plan. I'm sure the kids will be very excited to see this list on the dashboard. We also might want to use the weekly meals view with the delicious images. Under calendar, there is tasks. I like how easy it is to add a reoccurring routine or chores for family members, especially the kids. I already have one entry here for Zoe. You can always click the plus sign to add a chore or routine step, just like the calendar UI. You get to uh, pick the family member and say, repeat uh, a number of days or one every Wednesday, for example, but here I'm gonna try to uh, create a chore using Hey, this is cozy. 
I'm here Voice to help input. you plan and create household chores and make it a little fun. Create a routine for Ryan to take out trash every Thursday. Done. Let's see how that works. Here's a preview of your chores. Take out the trash. Never ends. Weekly and Thursday. Looks good. Got it. The chores all set. Is there anything else I can help you with? That's all. All right. Come back here. So this is a view of today. If we go to Thursday, shows up under Ryan's to-do list here. And we can manage those routines or the chores on this uh, screen navigation on the left side. So I modified the uh, first dashboard screen to have the calendar as well as the family tasks to make it um, more usable because these are the things we care the most. Uh, we have a quick glance of the weekly events as well as the family task, routine or chores. It resizes perfectly when turned 90 degrees in this portrait mode. And I created a second dashboard page to display the weekly meals and the notes. I can even start drawing things here. After a few minutes of inactivity, it goes into this screensaver mode. You can just touch the screen to go back to the calendar view or you can go back to the screen saver mode by touching that icon. Lastly, I want to mention their settings. Again, it's a very familiar Android system settings page. You get the Cozilla family member management here, the network, internet reset or hotspot. You can connect Bluetooth headphones and soundbars or your portable Bluetooth speakers here. Uh, so you don't disturb other people when watching movies. So this is more than just a calendar. Uh, you can see there are 106 GB of free storage available. We manage or enable or disable notifications from different apps. Like you, if you don't want to receive push notification from uh, YouTube or Netflix, you can totally disable it here or uninstall those apps. Screensaver, what we just mentioned, is defined here. All the gestures, swipe left and right, are supported. Display brightness, wallpaper, and you can set a screen lock. Maybe only you can access this device. So all these security settings, location, safety uh, settings are all here, just like an Android tablet. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. Like and subscribe.